what is the conversion rate and the average conversion rate you should have um, I was trying to go live in my group something keeps happening and cutting off so I decided to go live on here and then share it to my group hopefully so you guys I'm talking about conversion rate today because I just had a new client ask me about it and I wanted to get on here and explain if you don't know me I'm karma I help coaches and entrepreneurs get clients consistently uh, without social media burnout and scale with evergreen systems and strategies so we are talking about conversion rate now there are so many different metrics or contexts you can you can uh, use this I'm just gonna talk about a few now when you say um, karma I have 10,000 people come to my um, come to my opt-in page and not that many people sign up that's what you're saying right or when you say oh a bunch of people come to my uh, website but they don't buy or one bunch of people come to my uh, web page but they don't book that's exactly what it is that's conversion rate so it is um, sorry guys whoever joined let me know send me an emoji or say hey uh so it is conversion rate is the number of people versus goal reached so this could be different right depending on your goal with that task or project or campaign whatever it is so when we talk about in coaching business online uh business one of the things um that are one of the things that is the most important is your email signups, right? So your opt-in page and how many people are signing up to your email list. So let's say you have opt-in page visitors, right? Let's say you have 10,000 people visit your opt-in page a month. But um, email signups are 400. So this is your conversion rate. Number of people visited the website versus number of people who actually signed up. I hope you can see this clearly. I don't want to drop anything. Okay number of people actually signed up so this is your conversion rate what is the conversion rate of this this version this is a, it is 25% right so this is our conversion rate what's more important than the visitors is getting your increasing your conversion rate because this is something you can help right if if you don't have uh, that many people come to your page that sign up, you can always increase that. So you're gonna look at increasing this conversion rate. All right, so after the email signups, emails sent versus emails opened. Email Email sent versus emails opened. So we have 400 people in our sign up list and we are sending emails to 400 people in our newsletter. Right? And then the amount of people open the email actually to read it is 100, right? So our email open conversion rate would be, again, 25% because 400 versus 100, 25%. So now we're going to look into increasing this, right? And this, is, and this is very important as far as the CRM and email management uh, and lead management. So I'm going to talk about this in another video later. Uh, about why it is important to 
uh, increase this conversion rate when it comes to email opens and how it can cost you money. Anyway, I'll make another video for that. So we looked at it, the email's open conversion rate is gonna be 25%, right, in this case. And then what's important is how many people are clicking on our link, actually. Whoever joins, send me a hey, send me an emoji. So, emails opened versus link clicks, right? Because we're sending, sending an email, right? And saying a call to, with a call to action, maybe we're saying, oh, sign up to this workshop or book a call with me or buy this or try this, whatever it is. So 100 people open our email and only 10 people clicked the link actually. So what is the rate on this? 10%, 100 versus 10, 10%. And what we're gonna look into is now increasing this conversion rate, the 10%, so that we can have more people click, because if we have more people click, that means they're, they're more lenient to book or buy or whatever your call to action is, so that we can nurture them better, right? So this is another one that we need to increase. Now, here, when you go down, I'm gonna raise this, we're gonna go down the rabbit hole. I wasn't gonna teach you guys this many, but we're gonna go down the rabbit hole. So you can see whole, the whole funnel and how you can improve it. So now, we had 10 people click our link. Right? That's 10. Terrible handwriting, sorry about that. Um, and how many people actually booked or bought, right? So this is gonna be, and in this case, uh, in Coaching World, it's gonna be booking a call with you, let's say, or um, buying a course or whatever. In this case, let's say booking a call, right? How many booked a call, right? Let's say four of them booked a call, so you're, Conversion rate here is going to be, again, 25%. And we're going to look into ways of increasing this. Now, all those, the, the strategies to increase every, each conversion rate is going to be different, right? So that's why you need to look at the process, and that's why it's important for you to um, analyze this information, this data. So, okay, this many people booked a call. How many, I'm gonna just do this because I'm going down the rabbit hole. Looks like it's gonna go <laughs> longer than I expected. Um, booked call. I should have an assistant with a good handwriting. <laughs> booked calls versus, uh, what is it? Call attendance, right? How many? join the call so four of them booked it two of them actually joined and two of them were no show or canceled whatever it is right so here this is whoop, 50 percent on this one so this is higher here great and again we can look into ways of improving this with different strategies I can make a video about each step and um, like a few strategies of, of increasing each step. So let me know in the comments if you want that. It's backwards. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, great. So this is a great training moment because that means while I'm doing this number, I'm gonna have to switch my camera what is that called? Front facing and whatever. Anyway, but I've come this far, so hopefully these are easy numbers. Cyrus, you're smart enough. You're good at math, so you'll be fine. <laughs> Hi, by the way. Um, 
So how many of them joined the call and the conversion rate here is 50% and we're trying to increase this? Like I said, let me know, let me know in the com comments uh, which step you want me to explain, which step, uh, which step and how we can increase the conversion rate. Uh, would you like me to make a video about? Let me know. So then, um, obviously at this point, um, joined how many people we actually talked to and booked, right? Let's say we booked all of them. So we're going to do 100%. But anyway, if we don't have this, obviously we're going to look into improving this conversion rate, which is our sales call, right? We're going to have to increase our conversion rate, our sales calls conversion rate. Now, now that we have this breakdown, right? These are all different conversion rates for different steps that you need to look at and you you need to uh, work on improving those. Now, what are the average conversion rates? And I'm not gonna go into too many of those. I'm just gonna tell you a few main ones we talked about, which are email opens. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let's start with opt-in page, right? Opt-in page conversion rate Average should be at least 20%. Of course, try to improve it even if it is more than 20%. But if it's not 20%, you need to make sure to go ahead and increase the conversion rate of your opt-in page. This could be the, uh, most of the time, this is the copy, the opt-in page copy. Um, sometimes it could be the design, some, sometimes it could be some of the technical difficulties, sometimes it could be the image, but there are all, always different strategies that you can look and improve. So that's why expect 20 people, expect tw I'm sorry, expect 20% of the people who come to your opt-in page to sign up to your email list, right? And this is a good rate. This is a good rate. So then another thing you need to think about is your email open conversion rate. So, I mean, I could send emails to a thousand people. If they're not opening it, what is it good for, right? Email open conversion rate, make sure that is 20 as well. So shoot for 20 at least and then of course go from there and try to improve that as well but if it is not 20 percent then that means there's a lot of room for improvement okay um and the next one ah sales calls uh oh call, i'm sorry clients booked which is sales call conversion rate. This is why I don't like lives because I keep getting distracted. <laughs> anyway, sales call conversion rate. What is that supposed to be, right? So uh, in the coaching business, you're expected to have 10% conversion rate from your sales calls. Meaning, if you talk to 10 people, you're gonna be booking one of those. That's the average, okay? That is the average conversion rate for coaching. Of course, there are coaches uh, that have a lot higher conversion rates. And of course, there are strategies that um, you can use in your funnel that is gonna actually make this conversion rate higher too. And this is something I talk to my clients about and this is something we uh, improve. Not only within the sales call process, but within the funnel, how, how you're bringing them into that sales call is important. So with two of those things, with the sales call and how you bring them to the sales call, we're gonna improve this conversion rate. But 
yeah if you are thinking oh um you know i talked to like 10 people or i talked to five people and nobody even booked that's normal okay especially if you're starting out that is normal it could even be 20 and then you're gonna book one like it could be five percent conversion rate when you're starting but then as you get experience and as you look and look look at the things that you can improve as you have these calls then you're gonna start increasing your conversion rate right so that's why it's important but anyway so these are like the average benchmarks for the most part good good, good benchmarks um and there are so many more and we can talk about those later but basically we talked about what a conversion rate is and the average of conversion rates that you should have in your business um and like i said earlier let me know which one of those steps um you need to improve first or right now <laughs> or you want to know how to improve um and i'll make a video about that next time but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or um, send me a DM. I'll see you next time.